This is our third trip to the apiary this year, and we are preparing for yet another delivery of free bees today, so stay tuned. Welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. Today, my buddy Ken received another colony of bees, and he will be arriving here shortly, and we'll be going ahead and installing them into this hive right here. Uh, these two hives back here have colonies in them already from a previous video we showed, and he uh, can just explain how he retrieved and got five splits out of one extraction due to the presence of many uh, queen cells or swarm cells. Okay, Ken has showed up with a nuke and we'll be introducing a nuke box into this uh, hive here. I've got five frames in that hive. The nuke, which is a nucleus, which is what you call a little colony of bees. And we're going to be adding five frames from the nucleus and just dropping them right into the existing hive. When you, when you buy your bees, you'll either buy them in a nucleus like this, which is usually five frames, or you buy a package of bees, which is by the pound. Usually it's a three to five pound package. So there are advantages and disadvantages for doing a nucleus versus a package of bees. Usually the nucleus um, has all your frames and the combs are drawn out so the bees have a good start. And usually the beekeeper you buy them from has already started the frame so there should already be cap root cells in your nucleus that you purchase. Whereas a package of bees is just bees. Hello. There you got bees on the lid. Okay. Yep. Oh my. Boy, that's quite the colony there. Yeah, nice, nice swarm. So, where did you pick these up at? Uh, off of Covina Street behind. Uh, kind of over by Providence. Okay. So, this is on. Virgin comes so there's no pulled comb here, so they're doing, they're doing festering or festening or whatever it says. Festooning? Festooning. Go and hit it with the spritzer. Okay. okay. Is, once you start smelling that banana smell, it means they're not happy. You kind of combat the banana smell with happy smell. Okay. There's always bees in the bottom of your box. Yeah. You just give it an invert. I got some more in there. A cover. You want to do this cover? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ken, that, that spray bottle, the, uh, that formula, what is the formula in that spray bottle that we were spraying the bees with? I use uh, the same formula as your hummingbird feeder, so it's one cup of sugar to four cups of water, so that you can cross these and just make a big batch for your hummingbird feeder and for your bee spritzer. Okay. And then the bee spritzer, you can add either lemongrass oil, which you can buy, uh, or you can add a feeding supplement. There's Honey Bee Healthy. I actually use Man Lake, which is Pro Feed. 
and I used one tablespoon per quart. That's good information, thank you. And you mentioned something while we were putting the bees in about spraying them, mm -hmm. and you, when you start smelling the banana odor, Correct. kind of explain to our viewers the different smells that a bee colony will actually emit. So um, when you're putting bees into a hive or you're working a hive, most traditional beekeepers use smoke. And the reason they use the smoke is what it does is it confuses the bees and all they smell is smoke and they don't smell the fear pheromone, which is the banana smell, or the angry protect the hive pheromone, which is the banana smell. smell the so banana smell. I am not traditional, I use a spritzer, I don't smoke my bees. So as soon as I smell that banana smell, I spritz them with a spritzer that's got the lemongrass oil in it, and that changes the environment of the hive okay. so it's not a panic or a fear pheromone they smelling but something happy because the lemongrass oil is a happiness smell for them so it changes the intervention or what I'm working in the hive it changes that from oh no we're in trouble to oh hey this is okay we can let them work the hive it's all good it smells good we're all happy so a point of interest is do not approach hives with banana breath Correct. You're going to get stung. You will get stung. So Ken, um, there's something else I noted that there's different t uh, types of noises that a mm -hmm. bee will make from the hive. Right. What is the significance of those different sounds? Uh, right now, the hive we just installed is really noisy. We've upset the colony, we've shifted them all around, they're kind of in a panic mode, they're trying to figure out what to do next. So until they kind of settle down and relax, they'll quiet out. But one thing you can notice um, in a hive is most of the time there's a really nice quiet hum. That means you've got a great running hive. If you walk to your hive that's been quiet and peaceful for the last week and it's noisy like this one is, that means they probably lost their queen. Either the queen died, queen disappears, something happened to your queen because a noisy, normal hive usually means your queen is gone. Okay, and... On, in the case of this hive? In the case of this hive, I think we just threw them into chaos because we moved them to a new box. So if they stay noisy for the next three or four days, then they probably are queenless. Okay, so I could look for queen cells in another box and Correct. try to put that queen cell in yes. that box yes. and let them adopt and nurture that queen cell. Correct. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, this hive is quiet. This is Correct. an example of a happy hive. Right. They've got their queen, they're content. Or they're all gone. Or they're all gone, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> So one way to find out is you've got bee activity on the front. You open it up and there's a cluster of bees right on top. So they are happy and content. They're clustered around that queen to keep her warm. Because she needs to stay at a certain temperature in order for her to be viable and lay eggs. Uh, productive eggs. So I want to thank my friend Ken Muelstein from Zombie Apiary East mm -hmm. for bringing me yet a uh, nuke to uh, fortify the colonies I have. Now I'm up to three colonies and I'll go buy some more uh, equipment, frames and boxes and we'll get ready for a fourth. Ken, I want to thank you for coming. You're I want welcome. To thank you for the free bees. You're welcome. I'll help you with some uh, extractions when you call me. I know. <laughs> We're ready to go and I'll film those extractions so you guys can see how an extraction is done. Right. Or how we do them here. <laughs> yes. So I want to thank you guys for coming. I'm Jerry Hansen, your host here at Pine Meadows Hobby Farm, and we're doing with the bee apiary today. So stay tuned for more videos. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.